how to start your real estate career. Hey everybody, thank you for watching today. This video is for you, a new agent or a person who is considering real estate as a career. I'm gonna talk about the eight steps to take to literally launch your real estate business in the next 90 days. Let's start with the stats. 80% of people who start a real estate career are gonna be out of the business within five years, but it's a widely held belief that that group check out actually and basically become invisible within the first two years and, and just kind of keep their license active and they work part time. That's kind of freaky, isn't it? I wanna change that. For now, I wanna focus on the 13% that get through and make it because that's what you wanna be. That's the group you wanna be in, right? Okay, so if you're watching this and you're a new agent thinking about becoming an agent or, or under two years in the business, keep watching to the end. It's really important. I've got something special for you at the end. First off, I wanna know who is watching. So comment below and let me know where you're at. Are you newly licensed? Are you thinking about real estate as a career? Or how long have you been licensed if you've been licensed for a while? And if you haven't already, hit subscribe, hit the little bell to be alerted when I post more videos. And I'm always posting on a weekly basis right now. This, this whole channel is dedicated to you, the real estate agents in the US and Canada that want to up their game. That's what this channel is for. Okay, today we're gonna discuss how to get started correctly and what you will need to start and how to create the proper habits in order to be successful right from the start. The first 90 days as a licensed real estate agent after you've passed the exam are the most important 90 days of your life as a realtor. This is your launch pad. Most agents totally squander these first 90 days. I see it all the time. It's kind of like a, a hazy time for most people. And, and what I wanna do for you is I wanna bring clarity to you, okay? I've created this video to help you maximize that time so that you launch properly and you really propel your career, okay? I don't want you to become a statistic. Okay, are you with me? I'm gonna assume that you wanna be one of the 13% that make it, but not just make it, right? Be successful in the career. Be successful, right? Can I assume that? Can I assume that? Okay, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to launch your real estate career. So let's get, let's start at the beginning, okay? First, first one, number one, get licensed, right? You gotta get licensed. It's absolutely unavoidable. You gotta be licensed, which means you have to pass the exam. So each state and province have their own licensing system. Now there's a lot of similarities as far as I can see, but there are some differences too. So it's super easy to find out costs and how to order up the course. Call up any real estate company in your area and they're gonna help you figure it out, okay? Now sometimes an office will actually sponsor you and rebate the course back to you if you join their office and uh, after you complete maybe your first deal. But in truth, here's my opinion on that. It's best for you to make that investment in yourself and just own that. You should never be beholden to anyone. If an office is gonna refund that cost to you, then maybe they're kind of more desperate for to get agents. However, sometimes that's actually just part of their business plan and that's okay. In most cases, as far as I know, you can take the course by correspondence in the comfort of your own home while working in your existing job. Well, that's amazing, right? Also, in most cases, you can get started, be licensed after passing the exam in as quick as three to five months and be in business for under $2,000. Now that's amazing. Now you have this license to print money and I encourage you to own that. Be your own CEO, control your own destiny, okay? This is the beginning attitude that, that has to prevail in all you do as a real estate professional. Be a professional. Don't pick an office because they're gonna give you the cost of the course back. If they're the best fit for you and they offer to refund the course, then that, that's just a bonus, right? Then super, right? That's awesome. But don't, don't make that your main criteria for picking an office. Okay, so that brings us to number two, pick an office. Every licensee must be part of a brokerage or an agency, okay? Now there's a lot of real estate brokerages out there. Each office will have a different structure or they're gonna have different plans for their agents based on production and, and percentages and, and how they charge deal fees, all that kind of stuff. If you want an office, not have an office. Also consider how you're gonna function. Are you gonna work from home mostly? Do you feel like you need to be part of a kind of an office atmosphere? Do you need a private office? Is uh, a bullpen kind of concept okay with you? 
And then what services do they provide for their agents? And I would, I would encourage you to interview with three to four offices before making your final decision. Interview them and, and get a feel for their office culture. The office should provide necessary services for you and provide a culture that stimulates you and feeds you positively. But don't rely on the office for your success. It is you. It's you alone who will succeed in this business. Your office is not responsible for your success or failure. Always remember that. This is your business. They're just an agency, a real estate office that houses agents. You are an agent associated with that office who's building a business, okay? Now, for you, I refer to this as building a business as well, all the time. In all my verbiage when I discuss activities that a real estate agent performs, it's kind of a foundational thinking. That the foundation to it all is that you are actually building a business. This thinking is really paramount to your success, okay? You gotta be thinking about building a business. So that leads us to number three. You gotta think, that says realtor, Preneur. You are a business within a business, okay? There is no negotiation on this. This is the rudder to your ship. This steers all of your decisions. This is the foundational belief that drives everything you do from now on. You are responsible for the success or failure of this business, all right? That's real simple. You're a realtorpreneur. You're an entrepreneur, okay? Okay, this brings us to number four. Establish market. As a business person, you need to determine who your ideal client is. As an entrepreneur, you have to decide who you're gonna serve. McDonald's is not known for its great steaks, right? You have to think about your business as a boutique specialty store. You can't think about your business like a Walmart or an Amazon that serves everything to anyone. Maybe later, in your business life. But at first, you need to have crystal clarity on who your market is and who you want to attract. You have to think deeply about that. What style of clothes do, the, do they wear, the people that you're looking to attract? Where do they hang out? What types of occupations are consistent with the market type that you want to go after? What are their interests? This is going to help you understand how you want to consistently present yourself. Really get clear on who you want to serve and who you want to attract to your business. Know what lingo they use, what hits them emotionally, and what's important to them logically. Really get clear on this stuff. These details are gonna help you and it's gonna give you direction on creating number five, your brand. This will prevail in all that you do, in everything you do, in your Instagram, Facebook, your website, your business cards, your LinkedIn profile, your Twitter, even your YouTube channel, the, the brochures, and even in your email signature at the bottom of your signature, all of that have to scream out your brand, everything. The colors you choose, the type of photo, the style of your photo, the energy of the photo, and what you're wearing, and the colors that you're wearing are all intentional to match up with every format that you're showing up in. Does that make sense? This is all happening within your first 30 days. You're preparing all of this. You're setting up all of your profiles, your pages, your business pages for marketing. Everything has to be thought through in great, great detail, right down to the finest little detail. Now be careful here. There's a tendency for most people to, they, they kind of gravitate to what they like, what they prefer. There's a danger with that. Like if someone loves the color pink and they love cats, but their target market is athletes and hikers and surfers, then that can actually repel that target market rather than attract them. I don't know if that's a good example or not, but it's just an I like to give you the idea. But I wanted to make my point. Stop your mind from turning to your own preference, preferences if it doesn't match up with your target market. Fight against it if you can. Be very open to this. It's super important, super, super important. Does that make sense? All right, six, accelerate your learning. Be a sponge. It is critical that you learn really fast. Get through the nitty gritty stuff fast. All of the little programs and the search tools and the apps and, and all the things that make our lives efficient as realtors, get that done, get it out of the way. You can learn all of that stuff on the fly. Honestly, you can, but dig into it, obsess over it in, in the early in the morning, late in the day when you aren't doing productive things to move your business in a forward direction. Just learn, 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 learn so that you can accelerate yourself quickly. 
you, you've heard the term in reference um, to the coronavirus, right? Like flatten the curve. Well, for real estate, we need to shorten, but spike the curve, okay? Don't get caught up in the details, but work on getting comfortable with those things fairly quickly if you can. Writing offers, doing up listing contracts is something that can be learned while you're doing it and while you're in action, right? Like people always say, oh, I gotta go over the listing contract, I gotta know how to do that, I have to know how to, to go over an offer properly. And I say, just, you know what? Create the problem, create the chance to go over it. When you go to your manager and you say, I got a listing meeting on Tuesday, can you help me? He's gonna be all over it to help you. When you start your career as a real estate professional, now the learning starts. You thought that the real estate course was the learning part. No, that was just to get licensed. Now you need to learn how to build your business. The most important stuff to learn right now, like now that you're licensed and, and doing it, is number seven. You gotta learn all the action steps now. <clears throat> You need to know what action steps to take each hour of today, tomorrow, the next day. You don't want to waste a day. You need to know exactly what to do to fill up your days with the most effective activities that will produce fruit the quickest. These early days in your real estate business are the most important. There is no other time than this that is the most important. You have to have the throttle down full blast in order to expect liftoff. A plane is, is going full blast before experiencing liftoff. There is no negotiation on this. It's not a 40 yard dash or a quick sprint. This is your foundation stage, okay? The sooner you get the foundation in place, the sooner your business will get easier. It will get easier and it will take less effort to create business. It will, I promise you that, but it doesn't happen until you build it. So remember, you are building a business. You're building, right? So remember, you're building a business. So what do you think of when I say the word building? To build any type of structure, you need a foundation. And the foundation always determines the size of the structure that is built on top of it, right? Every single thing that you do for the next 90 days will reflect in your income for the next year and two years from today. The next 90 days will literally create the foundation for the next two years. This is a fact. So every single wasted day and every single productive day will reflect in your success. This will be true for the rest of your real estate career now. So if you've been in for a little bit, look at your income, look at your savings, look at your investments, look at your assets, look at the deals that you have completing coming up in the future, the listings that you have coming up or your current listing inventory. All of that is reflecting your efforts from the last 90 days. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, last one. Number eight, guard your mind like your life depends on it. Your mind, your mind is your most important asset. Now, I save this for last because if you're still here listening right now, then I wanna reward you. You are the person that deserves it. Those that bailed after item three or four, <laughs> they don't deserve this. I want people who are serious about truly being that in that 13% group that will make it then in the top 20% of real estate professionals. I want success stories from people that deserve it. Guard your mind like your life depends on it because it does. You are here listening or you're watching right now so I know that you are in the right mindset. So congratulations. Okay, so quickly in the comments, type in I love number eight with three exclamation marks. Yes, with three exclamation marks because then I know it's gonna be you. Then I know it's someone that's watched and listened to this part, okay? Do that. And then you're gonna get a message from me with a link for a very, very special, crazy, crazy price. I'm gonna reward you with that, okay? We established that you need to know what to do hourly, daily, weekly, monthly. You don't want to squander a single day for the next 90 days because it's going to pay you like crazy to get that foundation in place. And here's my advice on the power of your mindset. Don't hang out with a bunch of agents and go out for drinks. Don't be hanging out with agents. They're not going to do anything for you. They're not going to make you any money. They're not going to list houses with you. They most likely are going to cause you to lag in your development unless you find a mentor that's going to teach you hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, habitual activities to get that foundation in place, then I say, okay, 
If, if you're doing that, that's okay. But if it's anything but that, don't do it. Save that for later. You can do it later. But right now during this 90 days, it's too crucial right now for you to have laser focus. Get up early, go to bed late. This is a 90 day commitment. Read books that feed you mentally. Here's some examples. And I've read all these books. This is a great book. Tony Robbins, Awaken the Giant Within. It's so inspiring. And, and it's life-changing for anyone. I don't care who you are, this is a great book. Og Mandino, you ever heard of him? The greatest salesman in the world, this is a great story. Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People. The E-Myth, Revisited. Michael Gerber, this is all about business building and acting like an entrepreneur in your business. Uh, Stephen Covey, I've got the eighth habit right now. I lent out the seven habits of highly effective people, but I got the eighth habit, which goes over everything. Anyway, these are just a few books that I think are fantastic. It's important to feed your brain right now. I suggest you get any one of those books to start and, and read every night before you go to bed, at least 15 minutes. And then when you get up in the morning as well, just feed your brain. This alone will change your life. Honestly, it will. Don't watch the news. Stop watching the news. I mean it. Guard your mind from well-meaning friends and family too. Don't allow any doubt to seep in. The biggest thing that needs to be happening to you during these first 90 days is belief. Belief needs to be building and solidifying inside you. You are literally right now creating new synapses in your brain. And I know this sounds weird, but this is what will make a difference in your real estate business. This is the difference between the people that make it and the 87% that check out of the business. Belief. Everyone thinks that it's luck or a strategy or an office that they belong to. The truth is, it is your belief system. Now let me prove it to you. Be honest with yourself. If I say to you, you will earn $150,000 in your first year, and I say to you, yes you will, I guarantee it, I have this little blue pill that has never failed. All you have to do is take this pill and it will open up parts of your brain that you never knew existed before and you will figure out how to earn $150,000 in your first year. Have you seen the movie Limitless with Bradley Cooper? But the thing is, you can build that belief in you. Honestly, if you knew the exact strategies to perform every day and the activities were not uncomfortable things like cold calling or door knocking, but proven strategies, and you had all the tools to perform those activities where there was no guesswork, could you do it? Yes, yes you could. I know this for a fact. Your confidence will grow as you feed your brain and then as you learn and you take action. Action overcomes fear every time. I always say to people, keep in motion so that the seed of fear doesn't have time to take root. And you just learn and apply. You learn and apply. And that's it. Now, does that sound too intense? You know what I find intense? Not being able to pay the bills. Not reaching my goals. Having debt that stresses me out. Worrying about money. Some people never fight unless the subject of money comes up. And the reason for the fight has rarely to do with the fact that they got too much money. It's usually about not having enough, right? That is intense. That is stressful. That is way, way worse in my opinion. The rewards will come, but you need to know what to do to make the most out of those 90 days. And if you're watching right now, stick with me. Now in my training program, I show people how to make over $100,000 in their first year. Tell me a career or business that you can start for $2,000 and earn $100,000 plus in your first year. Tell me any business that will do that for you. That is why real estate is so amazingly awesome. Type in the comments, I love number eight with three exclamation marks and I will comment back with a link for you. Then you can click the link and then learn what we have to offer you. No obligation, no matter what, I've got something for you that's free. Go to forexformula.com to learn more about what we do to help new agents crush it in the real estate business. I've created everything that you will need to make it big. I've designed everything so that it takes all the guesswork out of running a successful business in real estate. Does that sound exciting? Yeah, it does. Check it out. Just check it out to learn about this crazy offer that I'm doing for a very limited time right now. So look for me on Instagram, uh, kellyjohnston.training and on Twitter, 4x underscore real and find me on Facebook, 
just Kelly Johnston. Always look for the Forex Formula branding on everything as well. And then you'll know that you got the right Kelly Johnston. Please give me a thumbs up or down. Do the comment thing. I love number eight, three exclamation marks. And if you haven't already subscribed, get more content on a weekly basis. Subscribe, please. And hit the little bell, okay? Love to see your comments. Can't wait to talk to you. And I can't wait to see some of you on the inside. Go out there, make a great day.